So I feel like vampires are having a real moment right now. We had the last voyage of the Demetra and Renfield not long ago. And then next week we have Abigail, which is going to be Dracula's daughter. And then we have the Wolfman movie. So it seems like those classic Universal style monsters are really making a comeback. And Nosferatu just started it all. I'm pretty sure it did anyway. This came before Dracula. No, it was based on the novel Dracula and they had, I think, a bit of a issue with it because it was copying Dracula, but, I mean, someone was bound to do it. Anyway, look, I think this is a movie I'm really, really excited for. I love Robert Eggers. I think The Northman was such an underrated, amazing movie. If you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go see it. And I really feel like he's a director that puts so much emphasis in world building and making his movies as true to life as he can. And obviously that's going to be hard to do with a vampire movie. But you know what I mean? He puts a lot of attention to detail when it comes to sets and costumes and just everything. So... Bill Skarsgård is someone who I really like. He's definitely becoming a scream king. I think the Crow movie, I wasn't too sure about that at first, but that looks like it's going to actually be a lot of fun. I'm actually, I've had my mind changed. I saw the trailer on the big screen before the Civil War movie today, which I'll have my review out for that sometime today. And seeing the trailer for it out on the big screen, I'm like, yes, my mind has been changed. So the fact that there's Robert Eggers, Bill Skarsgård, it's focused on vampires. It's got a gothic setting, which I love all of that. So I know that I'm going to love Nosferatu. But I don't think we're going to get a trailer anytime soon because it is releasing next year. So we have a sort of preview at CinemaCon, I guess. So let's check that out. So Lily Rose Depp, so she's the replacement. It was meant to be Anya Taylor-Joy in this role, which would have been perfection. Anya, to me, is one of my favourite actresses and Bill's one of my favourite actors. So them together would have been so, so good. Anya was in The Northman with Bill's brother. So, yeah. That would have been amazing to see, but anyway, we've got Lily, I guess. She's the only weak point for me in this movie, playing a devout young woman, praying earnestly by candlelight, come to me, come to me, hear my call. She intones before her hand reaches out to grab her neck. So there's wintry villages, an old castle filled with secrets and rats scurrying around cobblestones, portending some kind of prim- primeval force that's about to cast a shadow over everything. Yes, there's a literal shadow creeping across the screen at one point. The movie evokes the best of classic horror. It's moody, unsettling, and also eerily beautiful. There's also blood gushing from necks. It's a vampire movie after all on gangs of stake wielding villagers hoping to use folklore to battle these unseen forces. Does evil come from within us or from beyond? Depp asks at another part of the trailer. So do we actually see Nosferatu? So he's glimpsed from the back, hunching over in a bat-like crouch as well as Nicholas Holt, Aaron Taylor Johnson, they all in this, Willem Dafoe, such a great cast. So I don't think we see anything else. I think, yeah, that probably is just a little really quick glimpse. They're probably still in, you know, post-production. So yeah, I'm happy with what I heard it's basically exactly what I thought it would be it's a gothic horror story about vampires so yeah I think it sounds good I would have liked to see what Nosferatu himself is going to look like but obviously we'll see that at a later date so 
yeah, I'm happy with that. Let me know what you guys think of it down below. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in another video.